the Teutonic Fury against the Soviet state is a chapter of horror in the Russian Chronicle. One not too dissimilar to the previous chapter, where the ink was mistakenly assumed to have dried. Hail to you, Tsar Vladimir III, Emperor and Autocrat of all the Russias. Your authority is ordained by God, and to oppose it is to stand in the path of all that is righteous and good. By your hand, all pretenders will be reduced to dust and Russia restored to her rightful state, one and indivisible. Our tale begins in the tragedy of the First War, where, carried on wings of misfortune, treason struck at our empire's heart. The common people, war-weary, howled for peace, even at the cost of their honor. In their desperation, they opened themselves to all who would appease their injudiciousness, and in so doing, gave Russia's enemies a point of ingress far deeper than any that the German army could ever hope to match. Sensing this opportunity, every manner of villain was thrown into the mire. Talk of treason guised itself in cries for democracy and republicanism in a nation that brooked no trifler at her helm. This is a truth that the Russians would come to learn at great personal cost to themselves, for in their folly they presumed to alter an immutable facet of their nation's character and befound themselves with a sin so grave as to bring heaven's fury upon their heads. Little wonder then that destruction and misery would conduct the procession of the Russians for all their days since. But take heart, for Russia's covenant remains unbroken in the person of our emperor, and heaven's favor will be restored in his ascension, for if an empire so great as ours could be brought so low through the malignant toil of wicked hands, then the reverse surely will also ring true, and the struggle of the penitent and the righteous shall bring about a return to the natural order in three, two, one. We hearken to the wisdom of our august fathers and find solace in their teaching. What we lack in numbers, we shall have bolstered by faith. What we want in material, we shall find in providence. And so long as God is with us, then who can stand against us? Hold fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Once your bullets are expended, then fix bayonets and teach your enemies how to war.
An echo rings through the tomb of history. Can you hear it? It resonates into the present. The phoenix, it stirs in its shroud of ashes. It's the cry of rebirth, a song of war that our enemies prayed in vain to have silenced forever. Welcome back, gentlemen. You may resume your duties. What can be reclaimed of the West has fallen into the eagle's talons. Thus, our wayward subjects return to the fold. And though we leave the Grand Duchy in unworthy hands, we do so wreathed in victory and shall return whenever it so suits our ends. For now, we must press on to the East and see to the rest of our shattered realm. Let there be no confusion. Loyalty to Russia and fealty to the Emperor are one and the same. For you see, a great leader of men estranged from us by time and circumstance has found his way to our righteous cause. And so we convoke to mend our homeland in peace Rejoice, my people, for the mighty Prince Bartok, heir and spirit of the great Alexander Savorov himself, leads your sons to victory. A shame that we cannot convince the Falcon of Siberia to do the same, but such is fate. We shall cut a swath through his rebellious province and reach for the final holdout of communist blight infecting our realm. There can be no peace in Russia so long as the red heathen draws breath. Do we suffer them to exist, even as their hands run slick with the holy blood of imperial martyrs? Do we condescend to 
to battle with them in the fashion of men? Or shall we slaughter them as one of a pack of rabid beasts? Remember the Emperor. Keep him in your hearts. Show no mercy. Give no quarter for faith and country. Rape and terror until this time. Rejoice in the song of Victoria. Join in chorus with pride in your hearts. Greet your saviors and give them thanks. Then bid them one final farewell. For the men that leave you today march to eternity. Heroes, one and all brothers in arms to the great Hector and Lysander, they shall ascend to the lofty heights of legend and deliver their kinsfolk from the clutches of iniquity and strife.
In the name of the Tsar, Vladimir the Great, Hammer of the Germans.